Okay, so we have a good strength now, and other students are also joining us in a while. Uh, I would like to request all of you to please uh, keep your mics, uh, mics mute uh, during the session so that we shall not have uh, unnecessary sounds or the noise from the background. Okay, Dr. Helmi, we already, I mean, uh, 10 minutes past to 5 p.m. GMT, so let's begin. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining the uh, webinar for MRCOG Part 1 uh, Exam Orientation. Today, speaker of this webinar is uh, Dr. Muhammad Helmi. He is a mentor uh, of uh, MRCOG Part 1 course as well in Medizam Expert. So I would like... Uh, Dr. Helmut to please take over and uh, start the session. I'll just quickly tell you what's the, uh, today's agenda. We will talk about uh, how to apply for the MRCG party, uh, part one exam, what MRCG exam is, how many stages it have. Further, we will discuss how to prepare, which books you should read. We'll discuss some questions as well. Uh, and at the end, we will tell you about our online course for the MRCG part one which you can join and uh, do your preparation in the very short time with the uh, proper guidance. So you can clear it in the very first time. So over to you, Dr. Helmi. Okay, thank you, Dr. Hassan. Welcome everyone to the first introduction session by Medexam. I'm Dr. Mohammed Helmi, consultant of obstetrics and gynecology in Egypt. And I will be the mentor of part one MRCG course along with Dr. Zayb and Dr. Desiree and Dr. Nairouz. So um, today we have an introduction session about how to apply for MRCG part one exam, how to study, what are the benefits in this route of MRCG for those who want to work in the UK. So, beginning, what is the MRCG exam? Of course, MRCG exam is a part of the UK training program in obstetrics and gynecology, and all the OPG trainees in the UK have to pass this exam. Of course, we have three steps. Yeah. Part one MRCG exam, then part two and part three. Of course, part one MRCG exam, you are eligible to take part one once you are graduated. Of course, before you have to gain four year experience before taking part two MRCG exam, but now they have changed the rules. Now you can take MRCG part two immediately after finishing part one MRCG exam, but you have to gain four years of experience in obstetrics and gynecology before taking part three exam. So the old rules were that you should have four years of experience in the clinical field of obstetrics and gynecology before taking part two, but now they have re rules and they made this rule just for part three. Part one usually talks about basic science which is related to obstetrics and gynecology while part two is mainly about the clinical part or the practical part which is related to the guidelines and protocols of the RCG. Of course part three is the OSCE exam or the oral exam and like I have said that you have 
to gain full of experience in the obstetrics and gynecology field before you take part three exam. Before I continue the session, if anyone is not my voice, please tell me. Is it good? Doctor, your voice is not continuous. It is interrupting. So we are having cuts in the voice. Okay, please. You should check your connection because I have full strength. Confirm that uh, can the signal you is hear complete. Doctor Hermes well, or uh, is there any interruption? I have no interruption in my signal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, voice is fine at my side also. So please uh, begin. And those members who are having the problem with the voice, please check your internet connection if you have. Another one which is with the better speed, please switch to that. Uh, yes, because I'm receiving, I'm receiving messages from some other members that they are hearing the voice very well. So please, other members, check your connection. Okay, so this is what's MRCG exam. Three parts, first part and the second part are written exams. The third part is an OSCE exam. Now, after the new rules, some of you may be like, telling me that they are just fresh graduates and if they have finished part one, are they eligible for part two immediately? Yes, according to the rules, you are eligible to part two immediately after passing part one. But actually, by experience, it will be to study the materials and the guidelines for part two MRCG exam without having any clinical experience. Because you are dealing with guidelines and protocols and you, if you, have no idea about these protocols in your practice, of course, it will be difficult to just memorize these guidelines without having practicing them. So, yes, by rules, you can have part two just by part one, but I think for fresh graduates, it will be so hard to study without practicing. First, how to apply for the exam. I know that most of the uh, candidates want to appear in uh, the next attempt have applied already, but to uh, confirm if, if there is anyone haven't applied yet, that of course we have to make first an account on the RCG website. This is the first step to have an account on the RCG website. And by making this account will give you a college number. So the first step is to make an account on the RCUG website and to have a college number. Then after that, we'll go through the, of the information about part one M exam and then you will ask for the activity form and you will fill the form first by your personal information and your information and then you will compose an email to the RCOG and then you will attach this completed eligibility form with an attached medical degree the registration certificate it must be of course an attested certificate certificate of course you can attest it but provided that it states your primary medical degree and university of course those degree certificate of course the gmc number is enough but of course for the overseas members they have to send the completed eligibility form and an attested a medical degree certificate or a medical registration certificate. Then it takes about four weeks until they reply to you for the approval of you. 
the approval, you can book a place for the exam online immediately. Of course, so after approval of the eligibility form, you will be able to apply and pay online immediately. Of course, for the next exam, which will be held on Monday, the 3rd of February 2020, the eligibility application will close on the Thursday, 26th of September 2019, and the booking application will close on the Thursday, 24th of October 2019. And here are the fees of the exam according to the of the country. So you check your country lies under which band of those and this will be the fees of the exam. Of course for a reset candidate it paying online is just needed no need to resend any application forms or any certificates again just to pay online immediately. This is reset candidates. So now let's talk about the exam and how to prepare for the exam. Part one exam is a written exam in the form of single best answers questions only. We don't have any other formats of questions in part one. Single best answers only. Of course, in part two, we have single best answers and EMQs, but in part one, they are only single best answers. And we have two papers. The first one includes 100 questions, and the second one includes also 100 questions. The duration of each paper is two and a half hours. What is reset candidate? The reset candidate is who is applying for the exam for the second time, who didn't make it for the first or the second, for the first time, and he will retake the exam. This is the reset candidate. So again, I was saying that we have two papers, paper one, which is 100 questions in two and a half hours, and the same for paper two. And there is a one hour break between two, between the two papers. Of course, this exam purely tests your basic knowledge relevant to obstetrics and gynecology, but of course, not all the subjects of the undergraduates. So when we study anatomy, study physiology, endocrinology, all these basic subjects, we will take what's relevant to obstetrics and gynecology only. And those basic science will help us in our clinical practice. So don't go through books which give you pure, pure basic information in physiology or biochemistry and so on. No, we just need to take what's relevant to obstetrics and gynecology. In the exam, they have divided the subjects among the two papers. In paper one, we have the anatomy, embryology, genetics, physiology, endocrinology, biochemistry, and biostatistics subjects. And of course, they are given in the paper in different percentage. Of course, anatomy and physiology constitute the major part of the paper one. Then comes embryology, endocrinology, and biostatistics, then the least are the genetics and chemistry. Those are for paper one. While for paper two, we have pharmacology, pathology, microbiology, immunology, biophysics, clinical management, and data interpretation. Of course, clinical management, data interpretation are some questions which are related to clinical practice, but of course, they are basic clinical practice not advanced clinical practice, and they constitute the major part of paper two along with pharmacology and pathology. Other subjects are less in percentage than those subjects. 
So, of course, paper distribution and percentage distribution is very important to know. And this will be explained in details in our course. But for example, when we study anatomy, we have, of course, to take it so seriously because we may face up to 25 questions in anatomy in paper one. But for example, in biochemistry, we can face only five to six questions. So of course, it will be not that important subject like anatomy. So you have to be smart in studying to distribute your time and your effort among the subjects as like their importance in the paper. So it's very important to know about the distribution like given here on the official RCOG website. Now to collect our information for part one MRCOG exam. As we have mentioned that this exam is for basic science related to opigyne, and put in your mind that unlike MRCG2, in which we have guidelines like the Green Top guidelines and the NICE guidelines, which are the main source for the information, that in part one, we don't have a certain source or book that can cover the whole theory syllabus of part one MRCG exam. So, we have to gather our information from multiple or different sources. These sources are first is the Oxford Revision Notes. The good thing about this book that it's somehow summarized and it can give you the main frame and the most important titles and information regarding part one MRCG. So if you want something to give you your frame, your borders in studying part one MRCG, this will be the Oxford revision notes. But the disadvantage with this book that it's summarized, it's like a notes or a points made by someone. So in some certain areas uh, or some certain topics, you might not understand the, the subtitle or the topic the book is talking about because it's so summarized. So at this time, you can search for more details about this topic. So MRCG part one in Oxford Revision Notes, you will gain the titles, the main important titles, your frames, and you will know what are the important points in your syllabus. But in some points or in some topics, you have to search for more details. Another thing about this book that it is not updated since and 11. So when we talk about updated things like points, clinical practice or management or things related to incidence rates and statistics, you have to update your knowledge or your information according to the latest published guidelines. For example, if he talks about a certain disease and he said that the incidence of this disease is, for example, two or three or five percent, you should make sure that it is the latest incidence published regarding this disease, not to take the information as it is from this book because it's not updated oh. since 2011. Does anyone have any question? Okay. So again, please make sure that you update things in this book, especially related to the treatment or management protocols, if they are mentioned or related to the incidents and statistics and epidemiology of diseases because this book is not updated since 2011. The second book to rely on while preparing for part one MRCG is this book, which is 
approved by the Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, the essential revision guide. And of course, you have to look at the latest edition, which is the second edition. This book is very good book and it's very simple in its way in illustrating topics and also it's updated so if you want more details about any topic found in the oxford revision notes you can refer to the essential revision guide so i think nowadays after the exams are somehow getting harder or some slightly more difficult than pre than before i think that it's a good strategy to read this book the essential revision guide book it it's contain, it contains very very useful and good information of course if there are controversies between different books especially like we have mentioned about the incidence prevalence rates or about the first line in management of certain condition of course we have then to refer to what is published in the royal college guidelines like the green top guidelines and the nice guidelines so it's very important if we have controversies to make our unique and fix it source are the guidelines published by the royal college this is for the theory part now i should say that it's critical and mandatory to solve questions simultaneously while studying let me say that studying alone is useless is useless really it's no benefit you will gain from reading you have to practice and you have to practice as much as you can questions are very important to make your information strong and fix it in your mind okay so by answering questions you will get and catch the more important points in the theory part for example a subject like pharmacology if you go through the theory of pharmacology you will feel that you are lost and there are, there are many information to to gather from this subject but if you answer questions you will find that most of questions are focusing on certain points you have to know for example when we talk about the side effects of certain drug of course all drugs have main tenth and maybe maybe more than 50 side effect but of course there is a certain side effect that you should know from this drug and this is what will be asked in the questions and in the exam so you have to put in your mind that answering questions are very important while you are studying so your strategy should be reading a subject and immediately solving questions after you read this subject because if you postpone answering questions until you finish reading the whole syllabus or all subjects you feel that you didn't get any benefit throughout your reading so please put in your mind that solving single best answer must be fixed every day every day you should have one or two hours to practice questions after you read <laughs> So what are the available and recommended questions sources? We have, unfortunately, the available books in the market for part one are very few, and they include the Andrew Caesar book, the Catherine 400 single best answer questions, and what's called the Anx Shroud book. And unfortunately, we don't have much or other many books in the market rather than, rather than those three books. So, these three books must be covered and we have the online question banks like passing marsuji strategy on examination busy spr and you can subscribe for this online question bank if you get more information or and more sources of questions 
So, as we mentioned, that reading theory and practicing single best answers are complementary to each other. You can't do one of them without the other, and they must be done simultaneously. Of course, some people prefer to start with answering questions than reading, and others prefer to start with reading than answering questions. Whatever you like, of course, you have to do both of them simultaneously, okay? So please, please, while you are putting your strategy, you have to make two hours daily for practicing questions. I am receiving a question saying that what are better online sources or books? Um, of course, sources are updated, but of course, books are good. I think two books, Andrew Caesar and Catherine, are the best. You can answer them, and then you can subscribe to one of the online question banks. I'm receiving background noise, please. If anyone is turning on the microphone, please close it now, and we will give time for questions. Okay, thank you. So, you don't have to subscribe for all online question banks. You can choose one of them, and myself, I recommend either Passemwar Suji or Strat Oji. They are better than the other two question banks. And for the books, I recommend Andrew Caesar and Catherine. Of course, these are the best sources for questions. Also, it's very important to know that there are very useful extra information found in the comments of the questions whether in the books or in the, in the online question banks. After they give you the question, they give an illustration of their answer. Note down these comments and th this information found in these comments of the questions and put them in your notebook or in the same book you are studying in. Also, I recommend to make one source for study. If you use, for example, Oxford Revision Notes, you can add any extra information you want to the same book so that while you're revising you have only one source or one book you can revise quickly without being getting confused in multiple sources so this is very important note while studying that you should make a unified source for studying make all your notes and summaries in certain or in single source so that while you are revising before the exam you have only one source and don't get to not to be get confused in the few days before the exam. So before I let Dr. Hassan talk about the online course, again we must put a fixed strategy while we are studying MRCG. We have to make fixed hours daily like four to five hours, we still have enough time for the exam. And while we are studying, we should allocate one or two hours daily for answering questions. Of course, you might find some questions you don't know, so you can search for the answers. It's not mandatory that you read the thing first and then you answer the question. No, you can allocate a fixed time for answering questions, and if you find any difficult question, you can search for its answer. Searching for the answers itself is very important and can make the memory, can make the information more strong and more fixed in your mind. You have to be smart while studying. You have to manage your time and manage your effort according to the importance of the subject in the exam. For example, anatomy, physiology, pharma, and pathology are very important subjects. You have to memorize them very well. Other subjects, you have to go through the important points only. Again, you have to make 
reading and answering questions are fixed in each day simultaneously. Please, please don't waste all your time in reading theory and leaving answering questions. At the end, you will feel that you get nothing. Single best answers practice is very mandatory and very important. And I will repeat this again and again throughout the course. Uh, the more you practice, the more you will gain benefit, the more you will fix all the information in your mind because we are talking about basic science. You know, basic science is much difficult than clinical practice or clinical points because when you study clinical points that you already practice, it will be easier than just memorizing basic facts and basic science. If you have any question regarding this point, before letting Dr. Hassan talk about the course, please, you can ask me. Any question? Hello. There are two papers. So each paper has separate passing. As far as I know, the new rules are that both papers are added together, like part two now. Both papers are added together, and this is fixed percentage for passing. Okay. So, Dr. Hani, are you done? Any other question? Hello. Uh, kindly please repeat the major uh, uh, topics or subjects uh, for part one exam and reminder. Okay. Uh, before I go back to this slide, uh, uh, someone is asking me that is four months preparation enough to clear part one? Of course, it's very enough. But of course, dedicated study for four, four to five hours daily, it will be enough, inshallah, to pass the exam. Uh, but re returning back to the subject. In paper one, we have anatomy, periology, genetics, physiology, endocrinology, biochemistry, and biostatistics. In paper two, we have pharma, pathology, microbiology, immunology, biophysics, clinical management, and data interpretation. Uh, of course, this, uh, this pie chart is found in the uh, official RCOG website. Going back. Any other question regarding this point? Which book is better for biostatistics? For biostatistics, of course, uh, biostatistics, I think the Kaplan book for the USMLE uh, is the best for uh, uh, statistics. Okay, the statistics chapter in the Kaplan books are is the best book. But of course, we have Dr. Desiree's workshop. If you want to join it, it is very of course, very useful to understand statistics. Of course, we give statistics in the course, but if you want to read statistics from a book, it will be the Kaplan statistics uh, or the statistics chapter in Kaplan book. Okay, for passing the exam, as far as I know, like what happened in part two in MRCG, that the post papers are added together. You have to pass both papers together, not each one separately. But uh, I will confirm this uh, information and I will confirm it in our next uh, Thursday. And I'm going to confirm that information again. But as far as I know that you pass both papers together, not separately. Let me confirm this information at the next introduction session. Because some candidates sent me their passing 
uh, Marx belongs at them, and they, it's written that they have a certain passing mark not mentioned for each paper separately. But let me confirm the information, inshallah, in the uh, next session, which will be held on Thursday, this Thursday, inshallah, this week. Should we study Oxford revision notes with the essential revision guide? Of course, you have to choose one source, okay? But uh, I recommend you after finishing, for example, if you read from Oxford notes, after finishing, uh, for example, Atom, look, go, go through essential revision guide quickly. If there are any extra information or any extra titles, you can summarize it in Oxford notes. There's no minimal mark to be scored in the exam because it's something which is changed from exam to exam according to the difficulty of the exam, according to the number of students. So they don't have fixed mark. Sometimes it's 60%, sometimes it's 59%, uh, sometimes it's 62%. This is something which is determined in each exam. Thank you, Dr. Henry, for the valuable information. Uh, I hope it was uh, ben beneficial for all the students who have joined us today. Thank you, Dr. Hassan. Okay, so uh, let's proceed to our uh, next section of the presentation. Uh, I'll just quickly explain to you about uh, the course for MedExam Expert, which we are conducting. Uh, online, uh, Dr. Helmi, uh, if you can just move the slide. Uh... Thank you. So it's basically a three month preparatory course, uh, and uh, it will start from October 1, 2019. And the course mentors are Dr. Mohammed Helmi and uh, Dr. Zeb. Uh, today, unfortunately, because of some uh, emergency case, uh, she was unable to join us. So she's having her session on 19th of September. She will uh, also guide you about some tips about the uh, exam and how, how to clear it. Some important points. Uh, the next, uh, the next Thursday, we have a session for Dr. Helmi um, on your 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 dynamics. We will share the links in the WhatsApp. Okay. So let's go back to the course information. Uh, basically, what we do in the course is that we conduct the live sessions like the one we are having now, and uh, we on after each subject we take a topic test. Let's suppose we will assign seven days for the anatomy, and once you are done with the study of anatomy, you will be giving a mock exam, a topic test for that one, and then you have to move to the next section. Before to the next subject, we will give you the live session. You will study for the next seven days, eight days, whatever the timetable we allocate and then at the end of that topic you will be giving the topic test and so on we will complete all the basic science subject in this way you will be uh, studying in a very organized manner in these three months at the end of this course uh, we will launch a mock exam and it will have questions from the all the subjects so it's like the real exam and you can practice this one before uh, before the real exam it will be just a mock exam uh, we know that you, everyone have a very busy life in the hospital family and for the same reason we are also giving the facility for the recordings which most of the courses are not giving so in case uh, if you miss the session no worry you can uh, watch it on our website the very next day and uh, we will um, I mean the recordings will be available with all the all the course members so if you want to repeat any point you can just log in the website and see that Another good feature we are offering is that we uh, create a Facebook group for each course and we add only the course members in it. I mean, the students who will take over course, we will guide them dedicatedly in a Facebook group. The mentors will be there, your colleagues will be there, we'll be posting single best answers on the daily basis, discussions. So uh, we'll be with you uh, throughout. The fee for the course is $360 uh, and it's a three month. Uh, fee. Uh, please, next slide.
we are also offering a, a very good discount, uh, which we call as a group discount. So if, if you uh, if you register with us, uh, like if you if you're three friends and you want to register the course. The good thing is sorry that for sorry, uh, sorry for interruption, Mr. Hassan. Can yeah. you please? Uh, the voice is somehow low. Can you raise your voice, please? Okay, sure. Um, it's very close to the device. is very close to my mouth. Okay, is it okay now? Yes. Okay, that's great. So what I was saying no. is that we are also offering uh, a group discount. If you are a group or friends of three, you can just let us know through the email. We want to register as a group. So every member of that group will get a dollar, uh, $25 discount in the total fee. So uh, a good opportunity for those uh, who want to study in a group. I mean, if you're a uh, friend, so uh, next slide, please. Okay. I'll, I'll just quickly tell again, it's an online course. Uh, if let's suppose you are in any location and in the next month, if you're moving to the next country, no worries. It's online. You can join it from anywhere. It's very convenient. You can use any device to log in the sessions. You can listen while you, you're in the train, you're going outside. Um, so uh, this is the dashboard which you will see once you will log in. Okay. Um, you will be having access to our course content, session recordings, and the topic test. Uh, next one, please. So this is again the view of the content line. You will see like this. We have divided the, the main content into the sub, uh, further subtopics. So you just have to open the course and then you can see all the details. By the way, these are already available on our website. You can just visit www.math-examexpert.com. And then you just have to go to the course catalog. In the course catalog, choose MRCG department category, and you will see the course uh, there. Uh, this is a, a view of the mock exam, which you will be having in the course. All these snapshots from the previous course. So um, we have already updated the content as well in this course. So uh, no worries. Uh, next one, please. Excuse me, I have a question, please. Is uh, the course through GoToMeeting also, or it is like uh, a recording system and then we can just upload uh, the lectures? Uh, no, it will be uh, it will, like it will be like this. The same you are having the session now. It will be live through GoToMeeting, and then we will give you the recording of the same session on the website. So let's suppose if you miss half the session, so the next day you can log in the website and listen to the complete lecture again. But we will deliver the lectures through GoToMeeting. The lectures will be live. So if I couldn't attend the lecture, so the next yeah. day I can upload it from this uh, from the website, or or how can I get uh, our it? Our team will upload it. Okay, okay. Mm. Our team will upload the session to the website. Uh, you just have mm -hmm. to log in your account on our website. Once you will log in, you will have the access of session recording module. So you will just click it and you will view it like you you view a video on a YouTube channel. You won't be able to download any content. You, you can just view it. You, you can just stream it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we will also share a complete study schedule for these three months. So you will be very focused. You will be studying with us and we will be keep, uh, you can say, guiding you in the study room. So that's a very important point uh, I mean, uh, which we are offering that uh, we, we study in these things three months in a very, you can say, organized manner. It's not random. So we go step by step. Okay, go ahead, please. I have a question, please. Uh, sure. If uh, the, the session or the lecture, it will be like uh, explanation. Uh, for a theory things or it will be like a question and answers uh, It will be both we will have interaction with you guys through the questions as well uh, The mentors will ask you will give you some uh, questions single best answers plus we will also explain all the major theory parts which are very important to uh, crack this exam So theory plus questions both it's a mixture of that
Okay, so I will uh, just uh, quickly tell you the procedure, how you can join our course. Uh, visit our website, www.math-examexperts.com. Uh, the very first thing you have to do is that you have to create an account on our website. You can see a sign up button on the very right corner. Click that. If you, if you don't have an account, uh, then you have to sign up. And if you already have an account, you can just log in. Okay, once you log in, you have to go to the course catalog. And in the next slide, I will show you that, what you will see in the course catalog. Okay, so in the course catalog, uh, on the right side, you will see the multiple categories. We are offering courses for MRCOG part one, MRCOG part two, uh, and three as well. So you have to choose MRCOG part one, and on the left section, you will see a course. Just click that course, another window will open. There's a button, get course. I will show you in the very next slide. Okay, so, by clicking this get course button, you will have a pop-up window for the payment. Just enter the card details and your payment is done and uh, you are enro enrolled in the course. Once you're enrolled, you will receive a welcome email. And in the welcome email, you will receive schedule and all the other uh, directions um, as well. So this is uh, the details of the payment. So you will just have a pop-up for the payment. I already explained. Okay, so that's all from my side. Thank you so much to all of you for sparing time uh, and joining this webinar. I, I hope you like it. Let us know your reviews. Uh, was was it uh, beneficial? Sir, I want to ask, uh, it is from 1st of October till what uh, the date of this course? It's three months course, so October, November, and December. But we will give you the, uh, in that the course material. The course material mm -hmm. access will be till uh, exam. So courses in exam. So in January, uh, we will yeah. keep you giving the access so that you can revise at your own and uh, appear in the exam. But the course will end on 31st of December. Also, uh, we will we will conduct a separate workshop uh, for the biostatistics. Yeah, the exam is on. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay, if we um, join the course, do we still have to do the uh, other online MCQs and everything, SBAs, or is this enough? Uh, see, uh, we will provide you, provide you approximately 1,000 thousand single best answers in the form of top test and the mock exam. But again, uh, the more you practice the other question banks, uh, the more better for you. You will have more exposure to the different scenarios, different questions. So we don't, we, we should not say it like this. You should uh, only study other uh, SBS. You should go for uh, the other questions banks as well, if you if you want. But our course bank is more than enough to clear the exam. Uh, one more thing that uh, students are asked from us uh, whether you will provide us the books or any, I mean, the question pool uh like an on examination past it so simply we cannot as organization we cannot violate copyrights of any other organization we have made content uh, by our own so, so we'll be delivering you that and that content was made uh, by considering the rcog uh, curriculum and all those things so that you can just um pass the exam with those uh, summarized information but of course uh, uh, we recommend you to practice from the other single best answers books as well. So, so I will the pattern of the exam is not. The so pattern of the exam is not changed. It's same. Yeah, pattern, pattern is changed. Yeah, it's same. No. It's same, uh, which Dr. Helmi explained. Now, one more thing, we will upload this uh, session on our YouTube channel. We will share the YouTube channel link over WhatsApp group, so you can, tomorrow you can see this one. Uh, if you miss any part, if you want to just listen to any information. Uh, I announced about the 
on uh, this uh, biostatistics workshop by Dr. Dizri, we will conduct it um, most likely in January. Uh, we will share the details on our Facebook page. So do like our page so that you will get the updates regularly. Thirdly, we will also launch a crash course at the end of the, um, you can say, the month, the last month. If, if, if anybody wants to take that course as well, uh, you're more than welcome. Uh, we have now less seats available, so those who are interested to join, please secure your seats on earliest so that uh, you get the chance. If you have any questions, we are always available on our official Facebook page. You can drop us uh, a message or email us on info at the rate of med-examexpert.com. So that's all from my side. Once again, thank you so much for all for joining us. And uh, for the link, uh, there is a question, Dr. Hassan. I want. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yes, there is a question saying that uh, uh, yes, uh, we have another crash course. I'm going to uh, confirm we have another crash course which will be held just one month before the exam. Okay. Uh, uh, there are vi video lectures or only audio. No, there will be sessions like this. It's an uh, 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 like a presentation and the mentor is talking this is a live session and then we, we will have a recording available the next day of the session which, which will be uploaded on the website and then you can go through the recording if you miss anything in the live session yeah I can see some questions as well some yes uh, other questions about the sound dr. Hassan so see if you have any <laughs> any offers for them uh, any discount uh, yes we have a discount we have a very good discount $25 discount for uh, the group registrations. Make a group of three and come to us and you will get the discount. $25 for each member of the group. But again, I'm telling you that seats are limited. So if you want to join, secure your place on earliest because in the last days of this September, we might not be taking the students uh, because of the strength. Uh, yes, I already informed about the discount. So there was early bird discount, but that has been expired already. So now we only have the group discount for the group discounts how you can avail it just uh, make a group first and send one email or a message on facebook that we these three people with these emails want to join as a group will give you the discount code and you can join background noise i think so what is the date to yeah. apply for the online crash course the I last date for the, to apply is 30th September, but uh, sometimes it happens that uh, we complete our strength before that date. So again, I will suggest if you're interested and if you if you make make your mind already, so join it uh, on release. Okay, thanks. But the official last date is 30th September. Okay. Okay. So thanks again. Please check your WhatsApp message as well as uh, uh, the Facebook post. Be connected with us so that you get the latest news. And uh, uh, next Thursday, 19th of September and 12th of yes. September, we have again three webinars. One will be by Dr. Uh, Mohammed Helmi on 12th of September and on 19th by Dr. Zaid. We will share the topics as well for the uh, 12 September, the topic is Eurodynamics for the 19 we will share. So, see you all there. Yes, to confirm again, this week, this Thursday, we have a session uh, and we are going to talk about the interpretation of Eurodynamics and it's also one of the important topics regarding the exam. So, we are going to talk about the interpretation of Eurodynamics and uh, uh, the next week, Dr. Zeb also will give you another session so please join us on uh, thursday uh, at 5 p.m gmt thank you so much for your careful listening and we are so pleased to have you in this session thank you bye bye see you all again Okay, Dr. Iman, you can please uh, drop up a message to uh, our uh, page, the mid-exam page, as mentioned here in this slide. Please take uh, uh, the uh, 
the link mentioned here in this page and please drop us a message on our website or on our page and you can contact the uh, team and Dr. Hassan and you can talk about these details, okay? You are most welcome. Thank you so much, everyone.